are to calculate the specific weight, the specific volume, the density of a substance which is methane, we are given the temperature as well as the pressure. Okay, so in order to, to do this class, okay, so let us first write the given um, basing from the problem, which is of course the material itself, which is the methane. The temperature, which is 100 degree Fahrenheit, this 120 PSI class is the absolute pressure. And from this, we are asked to solve for the specific weight, the specific volume, and the um, density. Okay, so let us first solve for the specific weight or the unit weight. Now, recall class that in order to solve for the specific weight, we have here the problem or we have the equation of the state, which is specific weight is equal to pressure all over um, gas constant, universal gas constant, times the absolute temperature. Now, if we if we notice the the um, units of our given, okay. They are in British engineering. So, uh, based from that, we need to, to make it uniform that all our units should be standard. Okay, just like our pressure. Now, our pressure is 120 PSI or pound per square inch. Now, we have to convert the square inch into square foot because later, we have to cancel it out, so that's why uh, we need to convert it first, okay? So using the conversion, which is 1 foot, is 12 inch, so you have to square that quantity in order to cancel out the square inch. And therefore, we have a value of 17,280 pound per square foot. So that's, that will be our pressure already. Now, for the um, temperature, um, recall that the absolute temperature should be in Rankine. So since our temperature is in degree Fahrenheit, so in order to convert um, Fahrenheit into Rankine, we had to add to add 460 in the given Fahrenheit. And there, there you go, we have 560 degree Rankine. For the value of our universal gas constant class um, if you could recall I have given you the value which is depending on our system of unit so if it is at SI it will have a different value if it is in British engineering it will also have a different value just like this this 96.3 is used in British engineering. Take note, fit per degree runtime. Okay, so this will be the values that we will be using in our formula. So going back to the formula, so let us now substitute. Okay, so for our pressure, we have 17,280 for our um, R and for our temperature. Now, notice class that here the degree run kind will be cancelled out and this fit here will be multiplied here okay so what will happen our unit of specific weight will then be found per cubic foot okay so using your calculator 17,280 over the product of 96.3 and 560 will be point 320, 42, so on and so forth. Or you could, you could um, round it off up to three decimal place. You'll have 0.320, and the unit is look at at it last pound per cubic foot. Okay.